Hello students, welcome to Geometry Part 4 and in this part we will learn about circles. What are circles? Circles are basic round closed figures and we can see the outermost line which makes a circle is called a circumference. You can see here the boundary of the figure is called a circle and the line which divides the circle into half is called a diameter. It always passes, it touches two ends of a circle and passes from the center. Or if you cut a circle into half and fold it, then you will get the, the line of the fold will be the diameter. Similarly, when you draw a line from the center of the circle, this is the center of the circle, to the circumference of the circle, it is called radius. It can be anywhere in the circle from center to the circumference if you draw a line it is called radius and a line which passes from the center but touches two corners in the circumference see you can see here one end and the other end but it passes from the center it is called the diameter and circumference is the outermost boundary and what is a chord chord means any line which can draw and touch two points on a circumference so even this point line which is starting from one end to the other end on a circumference is called a diameter or a longest chord and similarly you can draw any line from one end of the circle to another let me show you here chord now you can see these are circles and we have here we have drawn used use different colors to show different parts and here we have given names to the circle so parts of a circle first part is center you can see the center point is called here O. And how do we find center? When we can see the exact position from where we start, keep our compass to draw a circle. Now what is circumference? The outermost body is called the circumference. The boundary of the circle is called a circumference. Now what is a diameter? A line which touches one end of the circumference to the other passing through the center this is called the diameter you can see here diameter is in red now a line which passes from center to any point on the circumference is called radius it can be from here to here from here to here or anywhere it should start from a center and end on the circumference it is called radius now what is a chord a line that touches any two points on the circle this you can see a chord so diameter is also a chord and it is the longest chord in a circle. Now let us see how can we give names to these. So we can see here circumference is M. O is the center. AB is the diameter. OC is the radius. And DE is the chord. So these are the different parts of a circle. We can very easily identify diameter is the line passing from the exact center of the circle. If you cut a round circular piece of paper and fold it into half, you get the diameter. And half of diameter is the radius. It starts from the center and touches any point in the <laughs> circumference. And chord are two, uh, a line which touches two points on a circle. It can be drawn anyways. So I hope you have understood. Radius is OB or OC or OA also can be radius. Why? Because it's these all lines are starting from center O and touching the circumference. So OB is radius, OC is radius, OA is radius. Diameter is AB. Diameter is only one line that is AB. Chord is DE and circumference is M. I hope you have understood the points of a circle. Now let us see relationship between radius and diameter. Now let us see relation. So we have to remember this that diameter is double of radius. How can I say that? Let us go back to the picture here again. Diameter is a line which is cutting the circle exactly into half. And it is passing from center. So AB is the diameter and OB is 
the radius and radius is half of the diameter so radius is equals to 2 times uh, diameter is equals to 2 multiplied by radius example if the radius of a circle is 7 cm then how much will be the diameter diameter is will, will be equal to 2 into 7 that is 14 cm example uh, 2 radius of a circle is 4 cm then how much will be the diameter diameter will be 2 multiplied by 4 that is 8 cm diameter is always the longer line and radius is half of it now if we have to find the radius and diameter is given now we know the diameter so we will divide it by 2 because we have seen half of diameter is radius so if diameter of a circle is 18 centimeter then to find radius we will divide 18 by 2 that is 9 centimeters if diameter of the circle is 24 centimeter then radius will be 24 divided by 2 that is 12 centimeters so these are the two um, formulas if you can remember diameter is equals to 2 into radius or diameter is double of radius and radius is half of diameter or diameter divided by 2 now let us have some fun time with circles so for drawing any colorful pattern of circles we can just keep drawing one circle on top of the other and then we can fill beautiful colors in it different shades you can see just one circle on top of the earth other and we got such a beautiful circle pattern and here also there is a circle pattern you let us see how to make such circle patterns now for that first of all you can see the red circle is the starting circle we'll first draw a red circle is shown in this picture so first circle is this then from the center of the red circle we'll draw another circle then from there from the center of the blue circle this blue circle we'll draw another circle then from there we'll continue making more and more circles all around it and we will get a beautiful design like this so basically what we have done we have made one circle in the center and then another one then another one then another one we just have to take the circle in the center and we will continuously make on other circles let us show you here <clears throat> one circle and then from there only we have taken another circle from there only the next circle from there only the next circle you will create a beautiful design and you can color it like this see starting from one how beautifully you can make such different circle patterns and you can enjoy and decorate your home also with these so keep practicing and the best way to learn mathematics as we always say is to do mathematics so do practice regularly and have fun if you want to revise the concepts please go to the video again thank you